Hello and welcome again to the podcast. Another wonderful week has gone by and hopefully you're experiencing the glory of God in your life. We are talking about the story of the glory and we're looking at it from all different kinds of angles because Moses wanted to see the glory. Show me your glory. And he said, I'll let my goodness pass before you. And you know, the goodness of God is his miracles, his healings, his wonderful love towards us, his mercy. God is good and his mercy endures forever. And that goodness passed before Moses and that was the glory. Now, I want to talk to you, though, today about Jesus in his present state, okay? Sometimes we think of him as the man from Galilee or the man on the cross, um, the baby at Christmas, uh, but, but none of that is the present reality of who Jesus is in his resurrected state. And I want you to understand this so that you can understand why he wants to show you his glory and how he'll show you his glory and why it's possible for him to show you his glory because he's in glory. He's, he's in a glorified state. So let's begin by looking at the uh, letter that Paul wrote in uh, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter number um, 5 and verse 16. It says, therefore, from now, now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him no longer as thus, okay? So I'm, I'm really asking for this paradigm shift in your head. Work with me on this. I'm going to try to help you to see Jesus in his glorified state because Paul said, we don't know him in the, in the natural state. We know him as the glorious Lord, the, the king of, of the creation. The Oh, okay, okay. I get excited because I just the thought that we're going to someday see God face to face and we're going to see Jesus. You know, I've lived this life for him. I just turned 67 and it's been a wonderful life. I've had many, many opportunities of ministering to people and it really is a glorious privilege. But the greatest thing of all is when we shall see him. Wow. So, let's look at Matthew chapter 17, verses uh, 1 and 2. It says, Now, after uh, six days, Jesus took Peter, uh, James, and John, his brother, and led them up on a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. Let's read on a little bit. And Moses and Elijah were talking to him. And Peter said, oh, it's good that we're here. Let's, let's, let's just live here. Let's camp out here. Let's build some tents. But while they were, while he was speaking, a bright cloud overshadowed them and said, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. But I want to read verse 2 to you again. He was transfigured. This is called the transformation. He was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became white as light. So, our glorious Lord Jesus Christ is no longer the man from Galilee. He is true God and true man, but he laid down his glory, they say, when he became a man, and he left the, his throne in glory. He left the glorious throne of glory to come to this earth. He was made poor that through his poverty, we would be made rich, and that richness is his glory, his goodness, the manifestation of his love toward us. Now, when we look at um, the, the letter to the Hebrews, the first four verses, the first chapter, God, who in various times and in various ways spoke uh, in times past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom he made the world. And uh, being the brightness of his glory, See, you've got to understand the glorified Christ to understand the glory that you'll inher he's inheriting in the saints. Everybody's going to be glorified. Uh, it says here that, uh, and being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he has made himself, pur pur when he had by himself purged our sins and sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having became so much better than the angels as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than them. So there's so much packed into these four verses, but it is so important to grasp this, that he didn't come to save the angels. He couldn't save the ones that had fallen because they uh, weren't given like a free choice. They were supposed to follow God. They were in total rebellion. 
We, however, have a cha- choice, life and death. And I say choose life, choose God, choose Jesus, choose the Lordship of Jesus. So when you choose life, you're choosing the glory. So Jesus, having ascended and seated at the right hand of God, is, is, is clothed in glory. He's radiant. He's resplendent. He's, he's worthy of glory. It says that he sits on the throne and they'll say, glory, glory, you know, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, worthy of praise and honor and glory. So you have to change your mindset to think of, of God, of Jesus in his glorified state. When you understand this a little more clearly, you can understand how you become a partaker of the richness of his glory and that he'll meet all your needs according to his riches in glory because he's in glory. <laughs> this is, is something that is a mystery kind of, but Peter was so stunned by it. He just wanted to stay there. And sometimes you might want to just stay there when you're in your prayer time, you're anointed, you're filled with the glory of God, the Holy Spirit. And when you've got to leave that throne of glory, and he wants you to, to live in this earth for this season, lay down your glory, if you will, until you will sometime inherit it with him in heaven for all eternity. This, this is so deep. But if you can see Jesus as glorified in the glorified state, you can understand how you will be in a glorified state. Oh, chew on it. Listen to previous programs. Get the future programs, binge watch it till you're filled with the glory of God. Amen. That you can see Jesus in all his glory, that you no longer know him after the flesh, that you know him in his glory. Wow. Oh, this is good. Father, in the name of Jesus, reveal your glory to the people by your Holy Spirit. Let them see the glory. Show them your glory. In Jesus' name. Hey, if you're getting anything out of this, I want to hear from you. Write me, frankjulian5 at gmail.com. Go to our website, frankjulianministries.com. You can contact me through that, and I have been. Um, And also through our apps and Roku channel. Tell a friend. Let's, Let's grow this. And we want to pray for you. If you have a need, let us know. Our prayer team is growing. We pray for you. God bless you. We love you. Tune in next week. Bye for now. On behalf of Frank Julian Ministries, we want to say thank you so much for listening. We upload podcasts every Thursday on Roku, YouTube, and audio podcasts, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you need prayers or are seeking a prayer community, we're here for you. Come join us on our Facebook page, Love, Prayers, and Healing Podcast with Pastor Frank. See you next week.